Do owners really look like their dogs? You decide. This is Jamal of Cooper Road Mini, mostly. Today, we've got another one of our interesting historic survivor type vehicles. This is our 1974 Mazda rotary engine pickup. And uh, we're going to try to uh, explain a little bit of our uh, current improvements in progress. Essentially today we've decided to throw in the towel on the stock Hitachi four barrel carburetor. This is an interesting old beast and I've spent years fiddling with these as well as the earlier ones on RX-7s that I've had. But uh, eh, I just have not been able to resolve an issue. There's seemingly a lack of primaries where it'll run wide open if I can get the RPMs up. It'll idle but otherwise it falls on its face. And we've been chasing another ignition issue, which we eventually figured was a, a bad coil and an intermittent bad igniter and distributor because our old harness here had broken through and there were wires actually contacting, burning one out eventually. So a slew of issues at the same time make it difficult to diagnose a specific problem. But on this carburetor, it's just too... I've had this thing apart repeatedly, and I've had it working for short bursts, and then something happens. And you'd think a simple mechanical device like that could be figured out, but at some point, you just throw it in. And uh, we found a nice solution here. Let's walk around. We kind of have to face it. There's few things in the automotive world that look as right as one of these. This is a 48 Weber IDA. This is a kit from our friends at Pierce Manifold, one of our suppliers at Minimania. This is an identical carburetor to the one I have on the green 66 uh, Cooper Road Mini Cooper S. And so we've got some experience with it. And uh, these are one of the nice swaps for the 13B Mazdas, uh, like our very original uh, 1974 pickup here. So we'll make some progress uh, installing this on this Saturday morning and we'll come back and have a look and see how delicious this looks in place of all these lumped up, plugged off uh, vacuum ports that are unused anymore with our more modern arrangement here. And we'll go into that uh, maybe in some detail. We can see that we've got a bunch of coils on this thing and some empty holes with the distributor cap that would normally have wires. We'll come back to all of that.